underneath a lot of rainfall. Rainfall has been the theme of our severe weather day here so far. So these storms are still going to move off in the east about 30 miles per hour. We still do have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect where we did have that tornado warning. So eastern Monroe County, western Wapalo County, you're still going to get probably some gusty winds and some heavy rain. So that warning still in effect until 530. And then obviously we've got uh, the tornado warning that is the other tornado warning that's still in effect up here into portions of southern Iowa and northern Keokuk counties, right Ann? Yes, uh, that's what I've got here on the radar behind me. And again, good uh, indication where you've got those brighter reds and whites showing up. That's where uh, the strongest winds are going to be inside this cell. So again, we'll query some of these get an idea of maybe how strong those winds are inside the storm. So potentially upwards of 70, 80 miles per hour here inside this storm. Strongest winds here. This is going to be northern portions of Keokuk County just to the north and east of what cheer. That's where we've got really um, the tightest indication of those winds. Still a tornado warning. Uh, this is going to move into southern portions of Iowa County. Northern portions of Keokuk County are also included in that warning as it continues. Remember, this is the same tornado warning that came through central and eastern portions of Powasheet County, Montezuma. You were in that tornado warning. I think most of the threat of this tornado warning is to our east and uh, National Weather Service just canceling that part of the tornado warning for Powasheet County. So that's good news there. 